There's our building uh, at 87 George Street. It's in the heart of the Byward Market in lovely downtown Ottawa. Will there be any trades to talk about within the confines of that building today? Yeah, who knows? Joining us this morning, Steve Lloyd is here from the Team 1200, along with Terry Marcotte from CDV Sports. Gentlemen, how are you? Welcome. How are you? Good to have you here. Yeah. So nothing doing this morning. I guess the last big trade we heard about was Ryan Klo last night, mm -hmm. right? To the Rangers for pick after pick after pick. Yeah, they get three picks for uh, for Ryan Klo for a guy that has not scored a goal yet this season. So he uh, hasn't scored. He does not. not a goal. He Why does... did everybody want him then? Oh, he's a playoff guy. Yeah, sure he is. Yeah, but that's that's the sell. The anyway. Rangers got to get in first. Exactly. And they need goals to do that. They aren't scoring any. The uh, Islanders are in as of right now, and the Rangers are not. Well, that wouldn't bother me in the least. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, first of all, let's talk about the Senators and any prospective trades coming down the pipe. We hear a lot about uh, people after Ben Bishop. Is that what you guys are hearing? There will be people interested in Ben Bishop. I think Brian Murray is going to be reluctant to trade him. We haven't seen Craig Anderson play in more than a month. And without Craig Anderson healthy, I don't think we want to get into a Dominic Hasek situation a few years ago. I think Brian Murray is going to be pretty careful with Ben Bishop. But I think there's a lot of pressure on Brian Murray to, to pull a deal. Really? I, I, really, I really think Brian Murray, he always likes to add to the mix at this time of year. He always talks about giving, giving his guys an opportunity, a reward for a job well done. And, and boy, does that fit the bill this season. Nobody thought the Sens would be in a position where they are right Heck now no. with the injuries that came down. If you asked me last week, Terry, that uh, Ben Bishop was going to move, I'd say not a chance. That's a draft deal. That's a summer deal because there's no fire here. He's a restricted free agent, more teams involved, get the auction going then. But the auction has started. Whether the Sens like it or not, they're getting call after call after call on Ben and Bishop. And he may be the piece yeah. that Brian Murray would have to move. But I, I think there's pressure on Brian Murray because they're on a crucial seven-game road trip. Yeah. Yep. They've lost two straight. And it just when you go into a dressing room, the players kind of feel good. They may not. They may not. They may say that they, you know, we're happy with what they have. But players like to have a new body. It just freshens the thing up, and it shows them that the the management believes in what they're doing. Do the Sens need anything? They, they, they need a, a winger that can score. They, yeah. they need a scoring winger. With Mahalik winger. out. And yeah, they need a winger. That can score. And you could always use another D, uh, preferably a guy that can play in your top four. And on this team, preferably a right shot. You know, they only have they one, have, they one, have right one shot. and that's Eric Grive yeah, because yeah. Carlson's hurt. Yeah. Um, you know, those would be the needs. And, and that's why you heard the name uh, Curtis Glencross was thrown out there. He's he, a good player. Uh, he's a good player. He's got a great contract. He only Solid makes guy. two and change on a cap hit for the next two years. And don't forget, Brian and Tim Murray are the ones that recruited him when they were in Anaheim. That's right. Back in 2004 and signed him. And he was a late bloomer a bit when he finally got to Calgary and started yeah. uh, doing yeah. some stuff. So, But he might not be available. Like uh, the, the Flames aren't going to trade everybody. Uh, but if he is available, the Sens are certainly interested. Yeah, exactly. Uh, any big ones on the horizon outside of the Senators? I mean, we hear a lot about the Leafs and goaltending and uh, Kiprasov. That going to happen? I find that the, all that. I mean, if, if if I'm Toronto, I'm going with Reimer. I, and it, and it, it's a, a distraction right now that they don't need. But you bring in uh, a big name goaltender. Luongo hasn't been a good playoff guy. Kiprasov has had a pretty poor year. So why would you change? Yeah, that? I know he's not played that well, to be honest with you. So. I, I, if I was the Leafs, if I was going to bring in anybody, if you could convince Kiprasov, who's threatened to retire if he gets moved, but if you can kind of smooth that out and get him to come to Toronto, I don't think it would cost you a heck of a lot. No. I wouldn't want to marry to Luongo's contract. It would for the cost next 10 you years. too much, both yeah. in players, probably draft picks, and, and money, yeah. right? It's a lot of dough. It's a lot of dough. Uh, we happen to have a list of, uh, there's Luongo, or as uh, Cher, uh, Cherry says, uh, Luongo. Luongo. Yeah, there he is. Um, here's a list of uh, the uh, trades that have happened so far. And of course, Pittsburgh, pretty well set. They might do another deal today. You might see some minor trading mm. in Pittsburgh. Uh, Boston with their big move. I like that one. one. I like yeah. that That's I a good do, one. I do too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ryan Klo to the Rangers, of course. We'll see how that pans out. Ottawa native Derek Roy goes to Vancouver yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty I, good I, move. I, I think that's a good move. I like yeah. Derek Roy. Yeah, because uh, Cassian hasn't really panned out well, there. Well, they right? sent Cassian to the minors yeah. the other day. Yeah, um, in that and, big trade. And Kessler's uh, going to return soon, so that helps him too. The, the curse of playoff death to St. Louis because Bo Meester's there now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he's never played in the playoffs. He played, well, just once when he was loaned to the Chicago Wolves yeah, that's uh, right, a number yeah. of years ago, but it wasn't his team, it was a loan. He hasn't played playoff hockey for his team that he was with since Midget. And the that's Blues, how long it's been. The Blues are uh, on the brink, they're in eighth place in yep, the West. Hanging yeah. on. Mm. So that means they're going to miss the playoffs now. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, they got Bo Meester. 
Gentlemen, thank you very much. I know you'll be on top of it this morning. Your, or your show will concentrate, obviously, on, All day on long. trades. Yep. You guys, what time are you starting that? Is this already underway? It started at 6 with Tigor, and we're going to take it right to 7 o'clock tonight on the team. Those guys in there, the yeah. Tigor guys? They're in there right now talking uh, trades. A whole day talking about nothing. Exactly. I don't think there's going to be much happening. Stop by, fellas. We, we could use the voices anytime. Filler. That's what we are. Filler. Hey, That's right. Good filler. Hair and teeth, buddy. That's yeah. <laughs> what we are. Thanks, fellas. Right. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep you up to date if anything happens this morning, but I wouldn't expect anything till later in the day, to be honest with you.